So how are you doing, guys? Uh, let's just quickly create rows. So we're gonna create all the rows we need. Create. Uh, click on Add. Add new, and then we're gonna add new row. Call it Admin. Remember all the rows we listed that we're gonna have. If you remember when we were creating the database, databases and um, under user, under rows, right? Under rows, we had this list of table uh, rows: admin, moderators, webmasters, and buyers. So now we've created an admin role. We'll click here again. We need to create a moderator. The moderators are basically the staff that works for this company. Moderator, the staff that just do the admin work because we don't. We just have one to one. Have only one super admin. Then a number of low level admins, which is the same thing as uh, moderator. Then after moderator, we have webmasters, the people that own the website that receive the payment. Webmasters, webmaster, and then we have um, buyers, uh, the the people that use uh, the QR code. You can call them buyers or payers, whatever you want to call yours. So, but what you want to know at the end of the day is that this contains. This is ID number one, two, three, four. Let me show you there on the database. You have uh, on PHP my admin. I'm just gonna log in. So here we're logged in. If we look at roles under QR code, we'll see roles. And what are those roles doing? We have admin with ID of one, moderator with ID of two, webmaster ID of three, uh, buyers with uh, ID of four. So that's what we want to cover. Uh, in this video, so that's how you create different levels, but we need to make the levels actually work and the first thing we need to do to that effect is to come to our, our platform go to our routes bar under routes click on web.php now under web.php there are some routes we don't want people to be able to access, for instance we don't want anybody to be able to access anything that has to do with users, transaction rules, and um, QR codes unless they are logged in. You understand? And then if you look at this, you see that our routes are repeating itself. Look at this one; it's identical to this. It was created by recreated by the Laravel generator, so I'll remove it. If you look at this, you see that it's identical with this. I'll remove it. So that's uh, to remove uh, reduce redundancy. Then this routes we don't want people to be able to access unless they are logged in. We have to wrap it inside a lock, uh, an auth middleware. There is a middleware that comes by default with Laravel. It's called auth. I just pasted this. So at the bottom here, I have to close it up. I'll do this and this. So uh, let me adjust this a little. So you can manually type this. Only logged in people can view this. Users can view the below. All right, we're good. So if you're not logged in and you try to open any of these routes, it will this middleware will redirect you directly to login. So subsequently, um, we're going to have to create middleware. In case you're new to MVCs and the Laravel and all. A middleware is basically a piece of code that you wrote that will execute before um, your route is executed. All right. So when somebody tries to visit a route or try to submit a form or anything, your middleware will execute after it has executed before uh, the, the 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 request will be passed on to the controller. All right. So let me show you where this file is. This is one route, the one middleware that was written. If you go to app. We go to HTTP. You know we used to go to controllers to see all these controllers, but no, this time around you will see middlewares. So if you click on middlewares, you see the default ones that come with Laravel. Let me show you. There is this guy that encrypts cookies. There is this one that redirects if authenticated, and that's this one we're looking for. Let me click on it. So um, you see. It, middlewares are usually very, very very basic and small but they do something very important so what does it do basically it checks if this user is logged in you see check if user is logged in 
if user is not logged in, guess what? Um, it redirects the person to home. You must log in. But if the user is logged in, what will happen? It it processes the request. This one continues the request. So if you look at this one, this one basically trims a uh, password field. This one handles proxies. So these are just basic stuff. This one handles the uh, uh, CSRF uh, token. Just basic stuff that comes with Laravel default. So we can create more of us to make sure that um, um, moderators can only access some routes, webmasters can access some, and buyers. So um, that's just it. But the thing is, I will um, I'll leave that for the next few videos. But what we're going to do more urgently is to um, clean up some of this HTML. For instance, if we come to a QR code, you see the way it's scattered. We need to clean it up so that it will look neat. All right. We need to clean it up, uh, remove some of the columns we don't need, and then um, the ones that need to be full URLs, we'll make them full URLs and all. All right. Thank you very much. See you.